let's check out some top tech, and more specifically, top tech that looks amazing in black. In this video, we're gonna focus on top tech with a dark mode aesthetic. I'll be showcasing some of my favorite tech that I've either recently purchased myself or something that has been sent to me that I actually think is worth looking at. Everything you see in this video will be linked in the description and I give them all my seal of approval so you can be sure you're not buying a load of junk. Firstly, this is the Mons Geek M1, a keyboard that was sent to me by a brand called Akko and it's quite possibly the nicest keyboard I've ever used and the best looking I've seen too. The keys with their grey to black fade look absolutely awesome. The all metal construction makes it incredibly sturdy with no flex in sight. It's heavy so you won't have this slipping around on your desk. And to top it off, there are these two subtle gold side plates. Oh, and I definitely can't forget about the typing experience and the sound of it. It's an absolute dream to type on and I think you'll agree with me that it sounds fantastic. It's got a few quirks and questionable features like this volume wheel. Click it down and you can change the brightness of the RGB or click it again and change the volume of your speakers. The side stamp lettering on the keys is really good. It may seem silly at first, but when you're sat typing at your desk, you're not looking directly down, you're looking at an angle. So when you look down, you can see every single key labeled directly in front of you. This also gives them a subtle shine with the backlit RGB. It comes with everything you need in the box, tools to remove keys, switches, and even some spare switches and stabilizers themselves. Battery life is great, and it's so easy to check the battery level. If you're on a Mac, it will show in the Bluetooth settings, or simply hit function and spacebar. The correlating colors shown will tell you what battery percentage group you're in. When it comes to pricing, it's actually very surprising. At only £134, you're getting a rather high quality keyboard with a lot going for it at a relatively low price. There's only one issue I have with it. If you switch between PC and Mac regularly like I do, you'll struggle to find the Mac PC layout switch. That is because it is hidden under the caps lock key, so make sure you have that key tool to hand whenever you switch between your PC or Mac. Next up is a group of tools that Hoto sent out to me. We have a small rechargeable precision screwdriver kit, a 12 volt brushless drill tool set, and probably my favourite, the compressed air duster and vacuum. If I could describe these tools, they would be the iPhone of power tools. They look incredible, they are presented great, and a lot of people will love them. But this doesn't mean they're perfect. I recently rebuilt my gaming PC after a much needed upgrade, and I found that the precision screwdriver kit was great for settling screws in place, but I needed to use the 12 volt brushless drill to get a nice tight fit. I think the precision screwdriver kit is aimed more towards small electronical repairs for items like phones and laptops. This is obvious when you see what the features are. It's got a magnetic screw tip, a magnetic pad for storing small screws, prying tools, tweezers, and other bits and bobs. However, both sets come with plenty of accessories and these handy storage cases, which in the case of the precision screwdriver actually doubles up as its charging case. The 12 volt brushless drill kit comes with everything you need to get building furniture and making home improvements. It is all so satisfying to use, including something as simple as a tape measure. The drill itself is really good looking, easy to use, and features a great LCD display with an adjustable torque setting of up to 30 newton meters. And it's all recharged using a USB-C cable. So you'll find this kit great for anything from DIY to bike maintenance. But I never thought in a million years that I would get really excited over an air duster and vacuum. But I guess as you get older, your priorities change. The blower is amazing at getting rid of dust, clearing crumbs off your desk, and if you happen to eat food from a famous British pastry outlet named Greg's, these are amazing at getting rid of all those crumbs that end up all over your car and gear stick. There are only two downsides to all of these products in my opinion, and that is the high price and the lack of a hard case for that blower. But if price is no option, and you like the idea of a really good looking set of tools in matte black, which are rechargeable by USB-C, I'd highly recommend considering these. So you might have heard, I upgraded my gaming PC in that last collection of products. Well, I just have to highlight this case from Fractal that I purchased. 
It is absolutely gorgeous, and dare I say, it's the pinnacle of PC case design. Its clean lines, wooden front panel, and matte black finish really stand out in a good way. No one would look at this in your home and think, that's an ugly case, because it isn't. There's four variations in two colors available. The version I have with tempered smoked glass, a matte black chassis, and slated walnut front panel. A version that is the same, but with a mesh side panel. And if you're not a fan of matte black, which you should be if you're watching this video, you can also get these two variations in white with oak slats instead of walnut. Compared to my old PC case and so many others I've seen, I would say it's night and day in terms of style, compatibility, and how it blends in with my overall setup. Not to mention, it looks incredibly grown up in my opinion. Even with RGB lights inside, the dark tempered glass really diffuses that edgy gamer vibe you get from modern gaming PCs. And a bonus for those with larger graphics cards, I had absolutely no issue fitting my ginormous RTX 3090 in this thing, and it still has room for a potential front radiator setup if I ever want to go down that route one day. Moving on from PC cases and electronics in general, what about those who want a more tactile feel to their lives? Those who still use those crazy inventions called pens and pencils. Well, for those who are looking for something premium and unique, this is the Interstellar Hover Pen from Novium Designs. You could call it magic, but it's really just a bunch of magnets and some clever design. When they reached out to me and asked if I'd like one, I thought, would I ever use it? I'm someone who lives and breathes tech. Why write it down when I can type it? But I've used this regularly for making notes, drawing designs of projects I want to 3D print one day, and honestly, I can say I genuinely enjoy using a pen again. You get a more satisfying feeling than you would using an Apple Pencil on an iPad, for instance. While it is expensive, in my opinion, for a pen, I would say if you know someone who loves to write in a journal or collects niche items, this is something you could consider for them, or even yourself. This next group of items are from Delta Hub, and they've turned a lot of people's heads with their Carpio wrist rest. It's one of those products where you get a lot of comments asking if it really does improve how you work at your computer desk. And many people will wholeheartedly agree that it does, myself included. So how do you complement it? Well, they already have a variety of desk pads, but now they have branched out into desk organization with their Rio product line. These products all complement each other and nail down pretty much any scenario you could think of when it comes to organizing your desk. They can be mounted with magnets and sticky pads, or even interlock into their own and other third party desk pads. It's not the cheapest of products, and obviously there are many other brands out there who make similar products at more affordable prices. But what you do get with the Delta Hub Rio line is well thought out designs, very good quality in terms of finish and materials, super strong magnets, great anodization, and one hell of an unboxing experience. I especially love the headphone and MagSafe phone stands, but even things like the pen holder can be multi-purpose. You could even use it as a small plant pot if you really wanted to. And finally, we've got something you can take outside with you and on your journeys to work. This is the BenQ laptop bar. Now you might be thinking, where have I seen something like this before? Well, a lot of people, including myself, use the BenQ screen bar for our monitors and desk setups. This laptop bar is essentially that same screen bar, but shrunk down with a battery pack and some fancy touch sensitive pads for changing brightness and color temperature. The laptop bar comes bundled with two colored sticker magnets that you attach to the lid of your laptop. The battery bank then sticks to that and the light sits on top of that. There's a USB-C cable and a nice felt carry case. It's very bright for the size, gives off an even glow, and even the touch panels are not overly sensitive. When the light is running low on juice, you can charge it directly from your laptop. It's definitely one of those niche products, but if you've used a screen bar, you'll know how great they are at improving the ergonomics of your setup and brightening up the whole thing in general. This just takes it and shrinks it down to a laptop level without being overly cumbersome. And that's it for this video. Which was your favorite item? And have you had any experience with anything that I've showcased here today? I personally think my favorite is the Fractal North case and it really stands out to me as a premium looking product. As mentioned before, I'll leave links to all the products in the description of this video. These links help the channel and depending on the time of year, there may be some promotional offers or discount codes to take advantage of. So if you use any of those links, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.